This is the flooded prison. How is it a prison, though? Did the demons build a prison and put, like, angels in it or something? And it flooded? Is that what happened? Something? I don't know. What the heck? Oh, God! It's a like-like looking worm thing! But we took care of it. Alright. I guess time is of the essence. I don't know if there's a time limit or what those numbers meant, but... Let's go over here first. Okay, so I think we- Oh god, they shoot the slime things! Are- have the same effect as the- As the slime thing- Slime trails that those wormy things left out. Good and fleshy wormy things. But yeah, the carnival. The idea was that, um, uh... You know, the carnival is like a reversal of a sort of social expected order, and a lot of times, car you know, things written in that genre will have a, uh, a tendency to emphasize fleshy things, including one of my uh, all-time fi- Oh god, are we poisoned? How do we get rid of that? H how do we get rid of that poison? Do we need to get in the water? Oh, I, I guess not. There's a lot of blood we just left a trail of on the floor there, but I don't mind. What's over here? More demons? I'm not terribly surprised. Heck, let's just take it this opportunity to see what other kind of monsters we've met. Let's see. Sopus Bo- Oh, the Sopus Baucar are the- What the Master Demon Mages were called. Okay. And Justona. Never lose sight of your goals when fighting this beautiful, demonic swordswoman. I couldn't tell it was a woman from this distance. Well, that's just kind of embarrassing. I would have been very awkward if I had met her in the street. You know? It would have been very awkward. Uses her speed to confuse foes. Be wary of attacks from behind. News. I got some, uh, good news and bad news. The bad news is that this is a stronger form of the news. The good news is that it's still just a slime. And then we have the og Ognome. A multi-segmented worm like... Oh, a worm-like demon with considerable vitality. It reminds me kind of of a uh, Bobbit worm. But I kind of like Bobbit worms and they don't shoot things. They just wait for you to get on top of them. Like a real-life Sarlacc. Oh, how was that? Took care of all that. What's the... It's down here. We're just gonna jump. We're just gonna... Yeah, we just are... We're just gonna... How the heck is it in this platform? I guess it doesn't have much body. Oh, look at her running around beneath us like she's gonna get us. That's adorable. Oh, she got us. Very athletic. Just, 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 just keep swinging your axe till it is all dead. And... Oh, this is how we're gonna... How are we going to get back, though? More on that later. That's part two. It's all going to loop around, and then it'll all make sense. Oh, there we go, all this stuff. And now I'm going to get the worm. Shooting out the slime things. One of my favorite, uh, all-time favorite novels is apparently an example of the Carnival. It's called, uh, Envy, which we read in that Russian lit class. Great book. Not to everyone's taste, though, but I knew I was in for something special when when this book, published 1927 Soviet Union, when this book opened with a uh, man sitting on a toilet singing about his intestines. Anyway. Acquired silver bracelet. Huh? We're gonna, we're gonna be so beautiful by the end of it. A surge of power burst forth from the artifact. Eunisa, er, yeah, Unisa is now able to dash. Increase speed, double left click. I'll figure what out. I forget what it is on the control. I'll figure it out. Normal dash. Or we can always dash, huh? Additional benefits in addition to increased movement speed, jumping while dashing greatly increases the distance one c can cover. Okay. So this is going to be one of those occasions where our new power lets us uh get back and I'm I'm assuming that's a good thing that I pressed that button. So, uh... 
Oh, we can walk slowly if I hold down the left analog stick. What about the right one? Well, of course. How do I dash? Oh, I can charge it up by holding it down. I didn't realize that. How can I dash? How do I dash? What does that do? Oh, I see. It raises the platform. But I'm only going to make it if I dash. How do I do it? Okay, here. Use analog as digital. Double tap to dash. Or... What are the alternatives? I'm not sure what use analog as digital means, but I'm hoping that maybe they'll give me controls for the uh, controller now. So how do I dash if it's not if I have it not set to double tap? Oh, I hold down X. Okay, run, 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 Unisa, run! Your life depends on it. There we go. It'd be a very undignified end if she were to just be defeated. If she were to, like, die of starvation because she were stuck over there, you know? But now she can run as fast as the demon women! Is the demon swords women! Whatever they're called! They don't have very w womanly voices. Not that I'd expect them to, because they're demons. And who even cares? I mean, they're demons. I, I don't care about them. They're just a bunch of jerks. But you know, maybe if they're, if they're anything like sort of real-life medieval perception of demons... I mean, think about it. You have... Like, humans would summon demons with, uh... There were whole books written on it. There was a whole genre. What if... What if the, um... These demons were actually summoned by some evil people to destroy East, and they're just operating in service to them? Maybe that's what that big scary guys... Well, the guys we saw earlier were working for somebody. I forget what the name of the person they were working for was, but, like, Java or something? Oh, man, they just working for a cup of coffee. But ain't we all in this in this world? Just trying to get enough money to survive the next day. And survival? You gotta have coffee to, to, uh, do, the, to do the whole surviving thing. But maybe, maybe whoever they're working for is a person who summoned these demons or something. I don't know. But we'll find out. Eventually. Not yet, though. Did we- does that level up? Did we just level up? I guess so. Hey, guys. Hey! Ah, man, I used the charged whirlwind on them. Okay. Well, we didn't make it. Oh, what, what's the? We have an oxygen meter, huh? It's not gonna fill up our health like it did in a Half-Life and a Super Mario 64, but uh, well, I didn't expect it to. Now that we've taken care of them, we just need to press the button again and run, run, run. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. We made it. Although there was another one of the worms in the platform somehow. I understand how they could. Bur I'm, I'm prepared to accept that they can burrow through like tile, but how, how the heck are they gonna get from this to, to up? The I don't know. Maybe they teleport too. What the heck? Are those like flamethrowers? I don't know what they are, but whatever they, are, I don't like it. It can't be good for me. It's very fattening. Let's see what they were guarding here. Ring mail, eh? I like the ring of that one. It has a pleasant ring to it. Oh, wait, no, it, it's a quip. Leather reinforced with metal rings, flexible yet sturdy. Whereas what we're wearing now is armor made of tanned animal hides. Okay. But you see that? That's what, like, the kind of armor a woman should be wearing. Or anyone should be wearing. It, it doesn't... It doesn't freaking leave all the organs in the middle exposed. Okay. So yeah. 
Before was this a 72? Well, some... Whatever. Hey guys. Wait, when I hit a slime, does it break into smaller slimes? I think it does. In any case... There ain't too many slimes around there now, are there? Hi! Not even letting you- giving you a chance to see what you- your equipment does, am I? Oh. My god, Unisa is an unstoppable demon-killing machine. Oh, maybe they just are poison gas and they poison her. I guess. Let's find out. Let's check. While we're in the middle of a combat zone. <laughs> Let's just check. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I guess they're a Mabre. Sounds kind of like Cadre. A highly intelligent species of demon. Carries a homemade device that spews toxic gas clouds. It's quite heavy, though. So, if it should fall into the water... That's their weakness. But they shouldn't be in this, this terrain at all. This terrain's filled with their weakness. That being said... I suppose they aren't really all that intelligent after all. I thought they were supposed to die in water! Whatever. I don't need to go down there and meet that demon. I'll just jump across. Da -da -da -da. Oh, more of them, huh? Oh, yeah, he's gonna die in a few seconds. I don't like the look of those crab things, though. What's over here? Oh god, they jump and spit water! Oh no, no! Oh, what is it? It's a big one! It's a big one! Don't stop! 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 It upgraded! It upgraded itself! It got stronger! What the hell was that? Let's find out. Da -da 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 -da. Monster. Oh, it's a genoid. Eh? Genoid. A large cyclopean demon. Pursues fleeing prey endlessly. Easily enraged, growing larger and more ferocious when stressed. Ah. When they say Cyclopean, I assume they mean that it has one eye, not that it's big. Because that's the other definition of Cyclopean. Because if, if, if they did mean it that way, then large and Cyclopean, well, that's just redundant. Really, though, the writing in this game is kind of... I don't know. I'm not... I wouldn't say intelligent exactly, but it's a little more sophisticated and styled than I would expect from a, a game like this, usually. Or maybe not. A lot of fantasy games, I feel like, go out of their way to try and have, like, a uh, very fancy-sounding writing. God, is more of them? Sure! Just, just keep attacking it. Just don't even let it attack us. Don't let the genoid even do anything. Just kill the genoid. Kill it, 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 kill it. We did it. We killed it. Maybe I should be sad. Maybe it's a sad thing that we live in a world where you can be this happy about killing. But you know, not that sad. What's that over here? Oh, gun! Ah, they can't get me down there because they're worse at jumping than I am. Here, hey guys. Hi, how you doing? Not gonna stop yet! Not gonna stop yet! I'm pretty low on health. Oh well. I'll be fine. Unless I'm not fine. Then I won't be fine. How much longer? Let's keep on freaking going! I'll tell you what, though. No. Here, let's, uh... Got one of them! 
Let's get the other one. Let's get the other one. Let's get the other one for all the for all the spirit points. Let's just no. Let's run. We're very low on health. Just run. Just run. Just run. Made it. No, we didn't. Just kidding. We're screwed. Actually, no, we're not. What am I saying? Uh, let's see. This thing's a real lifesaver, man. Real lifesaver. Like I, you know, expected it to be, but... Let's save here. Thank you, goddesses. Maybe they are pretty close to omnipotent if they can help us like that, or that, um, not omnipotent, but they can do a lot of stuff, I don't know. So, I feel like there was a route over here that I took to get to that underwater place instead of going the other route. So let's go the other route this time. The route that doesn't lead to the flooded place. To the really flooded part of the flooded prison. To the prohibitively flooded part of the flooded prison. Also, I just saw a slime reproduce. They do it asexually. It is sim... Or not symbiosis. Symbiosis is totally unrelated to that. It's meiosis, isn't it? Isn't that how cells reproduce? That's how cells in the... In a human body reproduce anyway. Meiosis, not to be confused, of course, with mitosis, which is the process whereby sex cells are created. Um, we remembered that in our uh, biology class because um, when it comes to uh, uh, my mitosis, you can say, like, mitosis occurs in my toes. Well, of course, meiosis being the produ production of gametes does not. I sound so intelligent right now. It's, it's great. I just need to wait a second for it to, um... Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's make the jump. No! Yeah! No! I didn't do it all that well that time. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna pretend I did well when I didn't. Because you, I, you, I couldn't, because, you, you know, it'd be silly. Because you can clearly see how I did for yourself. Okay. If I remember the genoid, the first genoid we encounter is what marked this, that we got to the point where, um, uh... Yeah, not going down there. Just, just, just die! Just, just, just die! You're just not welcome here! You're not welcome in your own freaking tower! I mean, I'm a terrible guest, aren't I? I just come and I've been killing all of you. You're a terrible host, so it's all fine. So are all of the East games set in like a, like a, one continuous dungeon like this? And I really haven't played these kinds of dungeon crawling games before. Pretty, it's pretty good, I guess. And Eunisa, she just never tires. She hasn't even eaten this whole time. She's gonna need a lot of protein after all this exercising. Maybe she could eat a can of sardines. That has a lot of protein in it. However, a lot of people don't like sardines. I think those people just don't understand that it's delicious. <laughs> Hey, I might as well kill this one, too, so I can add it to the bestiary or whatever I should call that thing that I have. Did it! Did it! Okay. Let's see what they're called, huh? I mean, I'm probably not gonna remember. So, we got- we- they're called Mabre. That's what the big fat ones with the, uh... Poison gas things are. Kelamare, eh? Oh, it sounds kinda like, uh... Oh, they're Kelamaro. I was gonna say it sounded a little like Calamari. I guess it still sounds a little like calamari. It still sounds a little like it. A scorpion transformed into a demon by the noxious mists. Why does it live in the water, though? Is it a water scorpion? Okay, so it's not venomous, though. But it's very aggressive. So the, there's some sort of demon, demonic mist that just turns things into demons? That's horrible! I mean, that's really horrible! Oh well. So let's see, if I recall, the uh, path I took that led to the uh, genoids were, was was this direction. So this time let's go this direction. Oh, there's still genoids here too, huh? Still genoids! No matter where you go in this world today! What a world we live in. There's just genoids all over the goddamn place! I ain't going! They're going to- Okay. I apologize, I somewhat lost my composure there. 
A goddess statue, huh? I like those. I collect them. But this one is a demon. Well, if they're magically sealing them like that, is it the demon himself who's cast the spell? Or is, like, the genoids, are they like an animalistic kind of demon? Like, they're just an animal. I don't know. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. Okay. Okay, it's good to know. I'm glad it, glad it did. Let's save again. See? The time went up again. What is that number? I don't know what the heck that number is. Maybe you have a time limit between each goddess statue that they don't tell you about? I don't know. Oh. Well, well. If it isn't the little axe girl. Ah! It's you! See, on the subject of navels. If you're here, then I guess you managed to take down the demon I summoned. Hey, wait a sec. Does that mean you beat Vela Gunder too? What's a Vela Gunder? You mean that giant red creature? Yeah, it gave me some trouble. But I managed. Hmm. Huh. Guess Kishgal was right about you after all. You do pretty good for a dumb hick. Could you please stop calling me that? My name's... Whoa now. I've forgotten your name already, and unless I think you're worth my time, I don't give a pickard's ass what it is. Save the introductions for after our fight. If you somehow manage to beat me, then you can tell me who you are. Not that it's likely to happen, of course. Maybe those ugly-ass clothes you wear will look better once I open you up and hang you on the wall. Oh my goodness. Epona is her- HER NAME'S EPONA?! WHAT?! HER NAME'S EPONA! Is she- is it after the same horse goddess as- is, is that Epona? I don't know. Just keep running, just keep running until our dash attack recharges. It's a good thing, or our wind attack, I mean, just keep dashing until that it recharges. Uh, oh, she got us good that time. Probably because I have to hold down the buttons in a somewhat awkward configuration when I'm doing this. She's a tough one, I admit, she's tougher than a demon. She also has quite a lot of blood in her. I mean, I know there's a lot of blood in your body, but like, holy crap, isn't that like all of it that we just knocked out of her already? How much is there? Oh, well. It's a video game, so that sort of things that you know, allowable. Especially since it's also kind of like a cartoon. So it's just a stylistic representation of, uh, the real damage I guess she's taking. Is there some point at which she's like particularly vulnerable? Like, is she, like, get dizzy or something after that attack that she just did? I, I don't know. In either case... Oh, she's a shield! She's a magical uh, enchanting enchantment shield. Maybe she got it from her special tribal tattoos. Maybe they confer some kind of magic power on her, like... Oh, she won. And yet she's continuing to attack. She's just a little savage, isn't she? Just just being like, I beat the corpse already, but I'm just going to destroy the corpse. Or maybe she wants to make sure that we're dead. Maybe she recognizes that we're, uh, you know, NOT A FORCE TO BE reckoned WITH! Okay. Okay, we just gotta be careful. We just, gotta be, we, got, we, we just gotta be careful here. We're gonna be careful, and it'll be fine. You'll see. You doubt me now, but you, you'll see! You'll see! I'll show the whole world! They thought I was mad, but they were the mad ones! Oh, she brought up her shield, so it's not like late in the fight she starts using the shield. It's just that sometimes she starts using the shield. I can accept that. We're already low on health, and I can't pause to use our Panacea! 
Swear to God! What good does the Panacea even do then? But she's brought up her shield, okay. Well, let's, let's see. Just keep running, just keep running until she's done with her little stabby attack. Little stabby! I don't get mad. I get stabby. That's a line from, uh, Simpsons. I forget what episode. It was a pretty good episode, I thought. If I remember, it was the one where the Mafia built a, uh, fake, terribly designed, uh, ramp for this for like the disabled people in wheelchairs like outside the school and they built out of breadsticks. He's like, are you well I'm gonna make do something to make you mad and he's like, I don't get mad. I get stabby. He being a uh, the gangster the mob boss fat Tony. Oh we eh, this isn't that hard. She's not as tough as the last boss. Although I suppose she's like a mid boss. Maybe this means the next boss is gonna be the big muscular guy. All right, Epona the Enraged, huh? That's quite a name she has. I mean, the Enraged? Does she have anything to do with horses? Okay, just keep running. Keep running until you get a chance to, to hit her. Don't stop till we've beat her! Beat her! With, I mean, th didn't she just get slapped by, like, lightning, like, razor-sharp, like, wind? How does she withstand that? How do you withstand something like that, huh? Well, maybe she has the strength of a demon protecting her. Maybe she's like, um, uh... What's his name? Master Betty from, um... Kung Pao Under the Fist. Didn't he have some sort of super tech alien technology making him stronger? Maybe, maybe the aliens are demons. It'll be like in the Doom novels. Because yes, they did make novels based off of Doom. I'm sure that they're just really great and just the best literature. Great representative of, um, you know, th their society. They're like a national epic. Of, um, uh, of, 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 of the modern United States. We're gonna beat Epona this time. Maybe she'll give us HORSE RIDING TUBES! Okay. But you think you're hot stuff, don't you? Just because you're literally on fire. Well, bet you think you're- bet you want to be like, Oh man, I'm literally on fire. But, you know? That doesn't matter! Let me tell you why it doesn't matter! Because I'm gonna beat you, Epona! Because that's how it works. I'm the good guy here! You're not! And the goddesses are on my side! That's a pretty big advantage because I can teleport as a result of it. We're both at the, on our last legs. Both of the last legs! But Epona's... On her last leg now. Oh shit! Guess I must have let my guard down. Not bad though. Not great, but not bad. Is she talking about me or her? All right. Guess a promise is a promise. What's your name, girlie? Huh? Your name? You do have a name, right? I hate cluttering up my brain with useless knowledge, but I think you've earned a spot in it. Just a small one, though. Uh, it's Eunissa. Eunissa Tova. Eunissa, huh? That's a weird name. I'm Epona, one of the foremost warriors of my people. See, that's the thing. I really want to know who your people are. And why you're after Lady Rhea and Lady Fina. Lady Fi, who now? I hate multi-part questions. Never feel like answering them. You should learn to ask one thing at a time. But hey, I'll throw you a bone. Me and my companions, we're not for me. What? Ah, crap. Gotta go. Zava gave me orders. If she sees me wasting all my time here with you, she'll have my head. Te 
technically I'm supposed to kill you, but well, I tried and I failed. So I guess I'll let you off with a warning this time. Don't worry, though. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. See you later, Eunissa. Hey, wait! Not for me, I'm not sure what to make of that, but I don't think it's good news for us. Oh, maybe there were other people who lived on the uh, planet, lived on the surface, who weren't from East. But uh, the people of East, out of either spite or ignorance, or certainly I would think in large part of ignorance, didn't like let them into East. And as a result, they've brought about the downfall of their civilization. It was a, uh, it was a, you know, class warfare thing. They're the proletariat who used an army of demons to rise up against the uh, bourgeoisie. A bunch of jerks. Didn't need to bring in the demons. Oh. Water breathing treasure. Zora's scale. Pretty close to being a Zora's scale. No, not really. Zoras aren't water dragons. What's this? Looks like a bunch of fish scales, but it feels kind of funny when I'm holding it. Like my body's breathing more deeply or something. But I guess with all the water around here, that sh could come in handy. Yes. Huh? What's going on? Oh! Phew, it's just the Leela shell. Unisha took out the Leela shell and put it up to her ear. Unisha? Unisha, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Something wrong? Quite the opposite, actually. Commander Galleon and the sorcerers have arrived safely in the tower. Oh, thank goodness. Seems that's just about everyone now. Whenever you get a chance, please return to base so we can discuss how to proceed. Oh, sure. Should I just use the crystal to warp back? If you would, yes. See you soon. Unisha put away the Leela shell. If the commander made it, I'm sure Cecilia must be here too. This should be an interesting meeting. There'll definitely be plenty to discuss. Oh, she just teleported as part of the cutscene, okay. Ah. Commander, Cecilia! I... I'm Muska. It's the Moe one!